you're a child, a teen, or a full-blown adult, we love cartoons. Even if it's the goofy squash and stretch to the serious and intense battles. But it wouldn't be a show without its theme songs that live rent-free in our heads while pumping us up for the upcoming episode. I'm Naisha, and I'm counting down to the top 10 theme songs that got you waking up in the morning to tune in so you don't miss out. So let's take a step back into the sensational 70s, starting with number 10. Now, come on, when you hear that, you automatically know what show you're about to watch. Fat Albert was a show far advanced for its time that covered gang violence, abuse, and drugs. Created by Bill Cosby himself, who brought you awesome shows like Picture Pages. Yes. Now listen to Mortimer make his music. I love it. Little Bill and The Cosby Show, the series was dubbed the best cartoon series of the 1970s. Despite Mr. Cosby not listening to his own lessons, this show and its jingle will never be forgotten. Number nine. Speed Racer, or in Japan, this series is a manga turned anime about racing. I honestly wish we actually had the intro from Japan instead of what we have because All America Is is just a shorter version of that. But our version of the theme song was so memorable that it was even featured on an episode of Scrubs. Here he comes, here comes Speed Racer, he's a demon on wheels. Turn, 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 turn. He's a demon and he's gonna be a chasing after someone. Number eight. Underdog was always playing on Nickelodeon when I had nothing better to watch and I needed something to pass the time away. Over time, the song burrowed into my head. Even though it's a simple parody of Superman, but with anamorphic animals, the theme song is catchy as hell. It's a plane! It's a boy! It's a frog! A frog? Not plane or bird or even frog, it's just little old me. Underdog. <laughs> <laughs> Underdog. Number seven. In this era, most music bands were made into cartoons, and their adventures pretty much entailed traveling, touring, and getting into trouble. The animation was done by Rankin Bass, the studio that gave you its Christmas specials, Thundercats, Middle Earth Adventures, and more. The Jackson 5 was no different, but we were given two seasons and at least two songs from six of their albums during the show and I had no problem with that. Number six. Looney Tunes. This is what I always look forward to waking up on Saturday mornings. Shoot him now, shoot him now! You keep out of this. He doesn't have to shoot you now. He does so have to shoot me now. I command that you shoot me now! Even though it was towards the end of the Saturday morning lineup, because at least you ended your morning laughing your head off at classic slapstick cleverness that the Looney Tunes of today wished they could perform. This generation has no idea how brilliant classic Bugs and Daffy and the gang were when it came to pranks, comedy, and especially timing. The new generation of Looney Tunes is trying to bring modern comedy into their realm and it just doesn't work. Or maybe it's too dark. I don't know. But when I think of Looney Tunes, I think of these guys over whatever that is. Wear me, Doc. Wear me. You're beautiful. No, no! 
Number five. What do you get when a frog, a pig, a bear, and whatever that is puts together a variety show with sketches, music, and backstage shenanigans? A one-of-a-kind show that leaves you begging for more. Created by the brilliant and talented Jim Hansen, his workshop brings you movies like The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth to Life, as well as helped aid a video game franchise by bringing their characters to life with their ingenuity and talented symbiotic skills. I finally got to watch this entire series in all of its awesomeness on Disney+. And I can't tell you how much I enjoyed every single plot, joke, and guest appearance. And if you're like me, you tuned into this show because you wanted to see what was going to happen to Gonzo at the end of the song. <laughs> Number four, Hanna-Barbera cartoons. You can't just pick one because we all grew up watching these guys. Whether it's a family from the past to a family of the future or even a bear that is committing larceny in a park. These shows all carry memorable jingles that if you were asked to sing the theme song to the Flintstones, you can bet that without looking it up, you will forget the line that everybody, including myself, never knew what they were singing. Let's ride with the family down the street through the courtesy of Fred and Pete. Number four. As your body grows big, your mind must flower. It's great to learn, because knowledge is power. Forget nursery rhymes. When you have a show that teaches you history, anatomy, math, grammar, along with rocking songs and funny animation, this indeed was a show that made you wish school was this easy. When you saw these characters, you knew right away you better sit down and listen to what these guys have to say. Because if you need to know your multiplications, bam! You want to know what an adjective or a verb is? There you go! This series has been teaching kids life for generations. And I hope it stays that way. Number two. Even if you play a few seconds of this theme song, you know right away that it is time for the cat and mouse to wreak havoc and bring you slapstick and mayhem. If you will, or if you ain't my baby, the way you acting lately makes me down. Though this was a show created in the 30s and 40s, this, along with Looney Tunes, has gone through years of remakes that will make this show exist for all eternity. And speaking of eternity, the number one theme song is... I don't know anybody, unless you were deprived of television or you just didn't care at all, that has never heard of Scooby-Doo. Now, I respect the show, but I'm not a big fan with the exception of 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo because that show is amazing as hell, as well as several other movies, <laughs> animated movies over the years. I don't know what it is about a group of kids and a dog, dog? <laughs> yet not dog, that goes around solving mysteries that the shows that were based around them never stuck. But yes, these guys are definitely not going anywhere. And Hollywood will find a way to keep them alive, even if the show succeeds or fails. So what do you think of the list? What were your favorite theme songs growing up? If you haven't yet, make sure you check out these videos on my channel and subscribe and click on that bell to be notified of any upcoming videos.